If your iPhone storage is full, you'll need to quickly clear up some space. But don't panic and delete all your photos. There are easy ways to free up iPhone storage without losing your precious data forever. Let me show you how. Before you start, it's important to know what you're working with. Go to Settings, General, iPhone Storage, and you'll see a breakdown of how much space is being used on your phone and by what category. Next, you'll see a list of personal recommendations, which we'll get to soon, and a list of the apps that are taking up the most space on your phone. Right from here, you can tap on any one of these apps and tap Delete App to clear it out. Alternatively, you can choose to offload the apps that you don't use very often. This deletes the bulk of the app from your phone, but keeps personal data like sign-in information, game progress, and cached files, and it keeps the icon on your home screen. The next time you launch the app, it'll download the rest of it back down from the App Store and launch right where you left off. You can enable this right next to Offload Unused Apps by tapping Enable. And if you don't see this setting here, you can also find it in Settings, Apps, App Store, if you scroll down a little ways. Keep in mind that because it deletes part of the app from your phone, you shouldn't offload apps that you need to use where you may not have a good cell connection. Ticketing and event apps, public transportation apps, airline apps. Safe bets are big 3D games like Pokemon Go or Asphalt 8 that can take up gigabytes or more of space and aren't really essential. What's probably taking up the most space on your phone is your photos. Go back to Settings, Apps, Photos to manage your library. And I cannot recommend enough enabling iCloud Photos. Just 99 cents a month is all it costs for most people to back up your entire photo library. With iCloud Photos enabled, select Optimize iPhone Storage. All your photos and videos will be synced up to the cloud, freeing up space on your phone as it needs to. It'll still keep the photos and videos you look at most often, along with all your recent shots, but it'll dynamically make space in the background. You can still browse through your entire library, but if you go to play a video that you don't have on your phone, it'll quickly stream it from the cloud. If this is your first time with iCloud Photos enabled, it will take time for this storage to clear up. Uploading gigabytes and gigabytes of data won't happen within minutes. Just leave your phone plugged in, connected to Wi-Fi, and the upload will happen in the background. The next biggest thing taking up space on your phone, probably, is messages. Now, text messages themselves take up virtually no space at all. 99% of the storage space used by messages is in the videos, pictures, GIFs, stickers, and other attachments and files that you send. Go to Settings, General, iPhone Storage, Messages, and tap Video to see the top videos taking up space in your library. You can tap on a video to preview it. If there's one you'd like to make sure you save to your library, tap the Share button and tap Save Video. As the unofficial videographer in my family, most of these videos are already in my library, so I can comfortably delete most of them. Swipe left to delete it, or tap the Edit button at the top to select several at once. To clear out other old attachments, go back and tap on Photos, GIFs and Stickers, and Other to clear out the other large attachments you may have built up over time. You can also tap Top Conversations to delete your entire messaging history with a particular person or group. I don't recommend this because I value having a searchable message history, but you can do this if you really want. If you really don't care about old texts being deleted, you can have them cleared out automatically over time. Go to Settings, Apps, Messages, and scroll down to Keep Messages. Change it from forever to one year, and your entire backlog will be erased. And it'll continue to clear out old messages as time goes on. If you use Apple Music, your music library is probably the next biggest thing taking up space on your phone. Go to Settings, Apps, Music, and enable Optimize Storage. It'll only keep the tracks and albums that you listen to most frequently. But here, you can actually control the size of that local cache of music. Go to Minimum Storage, and you can make sure it has no less than 4, 8, 16, 32, or 64 gigabytes of music stored locally. Finally, if you subscribe to more podcasts than you can keep up with, you can automatically limit the number of episodes that your phone downloads at any one time. Go to Settings, Apps, Podcasts, 
automatically download. After setting a limit, your phone will tell you how many episodes this will remove. Tap Remove Downloads to clear them out. If your listening habits vary for different shows, maybe there's one podcast where you only listen to the most recent episode, and another podcast where you make sure you listen to every single one in order, you can actually change these on an individual basis. Go to the podcast app, tap the library tab, tap on a specific show, tap the three dots menu in the upper right, tap settings, and tap automatically download. You can customize the settings for this show specifically. So that is my best advice for how to quickly clean up storage space on your iPhone. Remember to like and subscribe. I'm D. Griffin Jones with Cult of Mac.